The weekly OPM press briefing turning into a tense, nearly physical exchange between a top financial technocrat and a reporter. Listen in. Uh, last time you were here, uh, you lied to us when you asked me about JDL in particular. I, you lied to the media. To uh, the, strong, the media. That's strong word. The depths of target was missed this year. And 2022 was missed, and 2021 was missed. So everything that's come out from this uh, office, particularly when it comes down to the deficit and the revenue is being off. So why would we believe anything that comes out of the ministry now, uh, this year for this budget? And it was all downhill from there. You smile it. You call me a liar. You lied no, yes. you call me a liar. You I, I am, I am this close. See, let me say this, eh? It's one thing to, to criticize the government for policies. It's one thing. But when you come and you use your punch in the media to make scandalous, unfounded allegations and think that you can get away with it, it don't go that way, my friend. Yes, now, we have a history, hey? We have a history. We have a history. I fired you. Okay. I fired you for lying. He called me and he called the financial sector a liar. Vehemently charging that Nassau Guardian business reporter Yuri Kemp's comments were out of order, Financial Secretary Simon Wilson picked up his portfolio and abruptly left the podium. But off camera, it was clear he hadn't cooled down. Don't get too close. No, don't. You come here and try to call me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I can walk with you for you. The near fisticuffs leading to Economic Affairs Minister Senator the Honorable Michael Alkita standing between the two men before Wilson stormed out and Director of Communications Latre Ramming escorted Kemp out the room. Acting Press Secretary in the Office of the Prime Minister Keishla Adderley later called the incident regrettable, adding that this forum is a place of mutual respect. But when we get to the point where uh, personal attacks are being launched, uh, that crosses the line. Um, I condemn in the strongest terms what happened here this morning. Uh, the intent was for the financial secretary uh, to speak about or flesh out some of the issues discussed in the uh, budget communication issued yesterday. And I condemn in the strongest terms any attack. Now, as I said, nothing like that has happened here before. And I hope, don't foresee that it will happen again, but I do want to say that going forward, we would want uh, members of the press uh, speaking to whoever the guests are to exercise the same level of respect that comes from this podium or any member of the government uh, when they speak on the issues affecting everyone in the country. Hello everyone, I'm Fern Carey. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things said and asked.